Hi, uh, my name's Janie and I run the Creation Station in Bristol. Um, I thought I'd show you a really quick and easy way of making a spring flower. In fact, a hyacinth, just like this. It is so simple and so easy to make. Um, I really do want to make some more actually. So all you need is um, a wooden stick. Now I've got a hard stick that I use when I bought a pair of shoes. They were inside the shoes, so that's really cool. But you could use a pencil instead. That works just as well. Um, a pair of scissors, some a glue stick, a ruler, and some coloured paper. So I've gone with green for the stalk and then the grape hyacinth is purple. So I've got some purple paper as well. You, if you don't have coloured paper, you can just colour up some white paper using felt tips and things like that. Or if you've got a magazine and there's a really big piece that is all one colour, you can cut that out too. That should be fine. So first of all, you need to um, wrap your stick. Now this one here, you probably can't see it, but it's wrapped with a long strip all the way around, kind of around and around and around and around and around. But I thought I might try it on this time is just rolling it up in some green paper. So what you do is you just take your green and you cut, I don't know, a couple of centimetres along the edge. Take your stick make sure it is cut to the same length as your stick or your pencil or whatever you're using like so get your glue stick and you can either put the glue on the stick or you can put the glue on the paper and you literally put some glue all the way around and roll let's get this purple out of the way actually and roll it up so that it sticks. I've got sticky hands now. <laughs> but, or if you're using a cardboard or if you don't have a stick, you could use a paper straw. I know that um, everywhere is giving out paper straws now. You can't really get plastic straws anywhere. So if you've got a paper straw, you can paint that up or you can roll it up in some green paper. So now here we are, you have your stalk. Okay, then. For the top of the flower, let's put that aside, you take your purple paper and you measure 10 centimetres across. In fact, you actually need to measure 11 centimetres and you do a firm cutting line so that you can see it at 11 centimetres. Then you just do a very faint line at 10 and you'll see why in a moment. So faint line at 10, and then just a really faint line at 10, and a solid dark line for you to be able to follow with your scissors at 11, okay? Then, this is the really interesting part. You cut off at the really solid pencil line. So you should end up with a piece of paper like this, with a really faint line across. Okay. Then you start to just cut roughly about one centimetre strips all the way up, but stop at that faint line that you made. So you do all of this all the way along. Try and make it as straight as possible. It just looks nicer. So you keep flipping all of this, and cutting all of this along. And these are going to form your petals. Now, depending on your paper, you can start curling your petals. You can either, it depends on how well it curls up, you can actually do it like a curling ribbon, um, but it might not curl up tight enough. The paper I'm using doesn't tend to. I'll show you as soon as I've done this bit here. I do love grape hyacinths, I've got them in my front garden and um, they're really sweet and they add a little bit of colour to spring on top of the daffodils as well. Right, so you should now have like a skirt 
what you need to do now is, I'm hoping you can see, is you literally curl up all of these guys. So you curl them up individually and they should, see, they stay up like that. So I'm going to do that for a, a few minutes and it shouldn't take too long. They remind me of something, these curls. I can't think what I'm going to think of it in a minute. It's like curling your hair at night time, isn't it? Let's get these curled up. Now, as I said, you could also actually try making these flowers just by finding, you know, all of the magazines that come out through your door. You know, all the ones advertising pizza or a local food store and things like that. You could actually cut a page out of a magazine um, and actually create the petals using that. If you pick one of the most colourful of the pages, you could actually have a really colourful hyacinth plant. And that works really well too. I'm just happen to have some coloured paper hanging around. Mostly I only have coloured card so this is good that I've got paper. Let's flip this up. Nearly there, only a few more left to go. This is where I need a little uh, thing that speeds up the camera, don't I? And then almost there. Now you probably noticed on my one that I stuck some leaves on the bottom. Um, that's great and I thought that looked wonderful but then I realised you can't pop them in a vase or anything can you after you've done them because you can make a load of these and you can make a little bunch, a little bouquet out of them. But um, there we are so. Okay so now You've got all of the little ones all curled up. What you do is you take your stalk, okay, and you put some glue on the end of your stalk, first of all, and then a little bit around the top. Really go for it if you need to. You could use white PVA glue if you need to, you just need to make sure it's kind of tacky. Leave it out for a little bit to dry and it actually dries up a lot quicker as well. There we are. So then you've got your hyacinth and you put the top one on the top so that it sticks up. And then you start wrapping this around your stick. As you can see, it's already starting to look like a hyacinth. I have to make sure you get them tucked underneath. There we are. Oh, oh, I ripped one. There we go. And then a tiny bit of glue, quite a bit of glue, as much as you like really, as long as it sticks, onto the end. And there we are. So make your stalks move around a little bit, make your petals, sorry, move around a little bit so that it looks a little bit more frilly. Maybe roll them up a bit. I came back to mine, I did this one last night and I came back to it and I had to re-roll it because paper kind of like stretches out. But there we are. So you could always, what I did with this one is I just cut out some long green strips and stuck that to the bottom as well to make the petals. But now I'm really pleased because I've got a little bunch of hyacinths sitting there. I hope you enjoy trying out your flowers, maybe even try some different ones that you can do with different coloured paper.